All right. Three, two, one. Hello, this is our oral presentation for CSC 2501. Today we will be talking about Elon Musk and free speech on Twitter by Jake, Michael, and RJ. On October 27, 2022, Elon Musk made the shocking decision to buy Twitter for $44 billion. His reasoning was that he felt that free speech was being hindered on the platform as well as individuals were not able to express their true feelings, specifically citing that a social media platform policies are good if the most extreme 10% on the left and right, referring to politics, are equally unhappy. So this begs the question, has Elon Musk improved Twitter's free speech ever since he bought Twitter? On March 25th, 2022, Elon Musk stated that free speech is essential to a functioning democracy, and then he asked his followers on Twitter prior to owning the website if he believed that Twitter adhered to these principles. And a shocking 70% out of 2 million voters voted no. And this is what ultimately led to Elon Musk purchasing Twitter on March 20, on October 27, 2022. So now we're going to investigate the actions of Elon Musk after purchasing Twitter and to see if he has not only helped free speech on Twitter, but has it led to worse consequences. In December of 2022, Elon Musk and Twitter introduced Twitter Blue, a paid service of $8 that offers prioritized features for the user. Twitter Blue offers the ability for the user to, to edit their tweets that are posted, upload higher quality videos, add free news articles, and prioritize rankings and searches and conversations. So how could Twitter Blue cause problems for free speech? Twitter Blue is created in effect to revitalize the platform's revenue streams, and this paid feature would cause problems regarding the impact of the freedom of speech of users on the site. Um, as quoted by Bloomberg, it was used to effectively cut the costs of bots. So Twitter Blue could impact free speech by having polarized content be promoted due to it being from a Twitter Blue account, uh, having people who could not afford the $8 per month fee being dis disproportionately represented within their speech, and using Twitter's algorithm to promote unethical principles due to it being from a Twitter Blue account. Now specifically, the downsides to the prioritized rankings are that using these prioritized rankings from Twitter Blue, the free speech could be impacted from the manipulation of Twitter's algorithms. This would allow Twitter Blue subscribers to have more influence and suppress people's voices who do not have the Twitter Blue subscription. Elon Musk has also proposed the potential removal of the block button. As quoted, he plans to remove the block feature except for direct messages, noting that the ability to block users makes no sense. However, it is important to notice that free speech does not equal hate speech. The block button is very important, especially in this age of cyberbullying and security for individuals, as the block button protects users from stalkers, internet trolls, and harassers. If there is no block button, then this ultimately means that harassment and hate speech and targeting against certain individuals will uninevitably increase which could lead to harm for a lot of individuals. So since Elon Musk took over Twitter, there has been an increase in hate speech. The Center of Countering Digital Hate reported an increase of hate speech within Twitter's platform, specifically the increase in anti-LGBT rhetoric and climate misinformation and also a failure of the app to remove neo-Nazi talking points. Elon Musk actually filed a lawsuit stating the intent of the report was to harm Twitter's business by driving away advertisers. So there is a fine line between hate speech and free speech. And also, Elon Musk filing this lawsuit inhibits the free speech of the Center for Countering Digital Hate by because this report, them putting this out, is free speech. 
So now we are going to look into a reason as to why there has been an increase in hate speech. For more statistics, according to the New York Times, the day after Elon Musk bought Twitter, there has been an increase of slurs against Black Americans by a factor of three. Uh, slurs against gay men have nearly doubled, and anti-Semitic posts increased by a percentage of 61. Now, this is important to note because Elon Musk has publicly announced his views as a conservative and more extremist views as well, which has led to a community of more conservative and extremist voices and therefore welcoming them to the platform. Lastly, it has been quoted that Elon Musk, since purchasing Twitter, has actually loosened the service's content rules, which therefore flags less hate speech and brings it more to the platform. So Elon Musk reinstated a few like controversial users that were previously banned, uh, specifically Kanye West and Donald Trump. So Kanye West is like a known anti-Semite who called for a violence against the Jewish community with this tweet here on the right um, and praised the actions of the Nazis and Hitler. Donald Trump is a controversial figure, very polarizing, who called for an insurrection on the Capitol building that took place on January 6th, 2021. There are still like many other questionable figures that still have a platform on Twitter. And also someone like Kanye West is he has a huge following and a lot of people are going to listen to him. So this is why like a tweet like this can be like extremely dangerous. So does Elon Musk support free speech to begin with? Well, let's see. So Elon Musk suspended accounts of several journalists who covered Elon Musk's takeover of Twitter. A user was suspended for using public flight data to track Elon Musk's plane. And this is him like talking about how much like he loves free speech and how he wants his like critics to um, remain on the platform, which just isn't true. And yeah, whenever like anyone criticizes him, like that's when like the free speech ends for him. So in conclusion, Elon Musk has not made free speech a better place for Twitter, as he claimed. He's ne negatively impacted free speech by removing the block button, giving voices to more extremist opinions by unbanning accounts, and having many problems with his new Twitter Blue paid service.